Hey guys, Mr. Cheeps here. Today we will be making a rare and valuable resource with cloth simulation in Blender 2.82. Here's the animation we will be creating. Let's start with a bit of layout and modeling. Open up Blender, select everything, and delete. Then we will add in a plane and tab into edit mode. This will be the wall and floor. Let's scale this on the x-axis and a little bit on the y-axis as well. Then I will select this edge and extrude it up to make the wall. Next we need a toilet paper roll. Modeling this should be pretty simple. Add in a circle, tab into edit mode, and select all those vertices. Press E to extrude and don't move these vertices at all. And then we will press S to scale. That way it will bring all these vertices out in a loop around our first one in a perfect circle. Press A to select everything and use E to extrude upwards. Now we have our cylinder with a hole in the middle. Go back into object mode, right click and make the mesh shade smooth. Then if you go to the tab with the triangle in the context menu, you can open up the normals drop down. There's a little toggle here that says auto smooth. If you turn that on, the toilet paper will look a lot better. Now just rotate the whole thing 90 degrees and position it on the wall somewhere. The next step is to create a holder thingy for the toilet paper. Add in a plane, enter edit mode, and scale it on the x-axis a little bit. Then extrude the whole thing up for a bit of thickness. Add an edge loop in the middle and delete half the vertices. Then you can leave edit mode, go to the modifiers tab, and give it a mirror modifier. Going back into edit mode, we will add a few loops to create this interface, and then we'll extrude this out to create those rectangle things that hold the actual toilet paper. I'll select both of those edges and use Ctrl B to bevel it and give it some nice roundness. For a little bit more detail, take this outside face and inset it with the I key and then extrude it in a little bit. We can shade smooth and turn on auto smooth for this object as well. Just move this onto the wall and put it behind the roll of toilet paper. Lastly, I'll add in a cylinder and scale it around the z-axis. Rotate that, put it into place, and our models are good to go. Go into edit mode on the roll of toilet paper and select one of the top faces. Press Y to separate that from the rest of the vertices and use the Z axis to move it up. Then Alt select one of those edges and press F to fill in that hole, restoring the integrity of our roll. Then hit A to select the whole mesh and press P to bring up this separation menu. Select Buy Loose Parts, and now the face we just grabbed will be separate from the rest of the roll of toilet paper. Select that face we just made and separated and tab into edit mode. Move this edge way out here to get a long plane and then add in some loop cuts both ways so that the cloth simulation has more vertices to work with. You could do this by right clicking and subdividing, but adding in loop cuts will allow our faces to be closer to squares. Now we need to make everything in the scene a collision object except for the strip of paper. Just go over to the physics tab and click on collision. Later if your cloth has collision problems you may have to change the thickness values under this soft body and cloth drop down, but for now you can just leave those. Heading back to the paper strip we can click cloth to make it a cloth object. Feel free to move this around and play with it for 10 minutes like I did before moving on. Now to pin this paper to the roll, we need to create a vertex group. In edit mode, select the top row of vertices and press Ctrl G to make a new group. You can rename this vertex group if you wish by going to the triangle tab in the context menu. Now we can use this vertex group by going back to the physics tab and finding the shape dropdown. If we select the vertex group in this pin group field, it will pin the rest of the cloth to those vertices. Now at this point we could just keyframe the movement of our plane and all the cloth would wave around under it by following those vertices, but a better way would be to select the plane, then the toilet paper roll, and use Ctrl P to parent the plane to the roll by selecting Object. 
Now I can move and rotate the toilet paper roll while the animation is playing and we can see the cloth follow in real time. For a little ease of use, you could lock the rotation of the roll on the Y and Z axis with these lock icons, and now you don't have to specify an axis in order to roll and roll up your toilet paper. Now that's all great if you want some dinky little baby toilet paper, but I know that you are a power user, someone who needs to unroll more. Luckily, that can be done as well with our cloth simulation. Go into your user preferences and enable the Add Curve Extra Objects add-on. Then go back to Blender and pull up the Add Object menu. Under the Curve option, there is a Curve Spiral with four different types. I'm going to choose Logarithmic for this. Now it may look like just a circle, but opening this menu and increasing the expansion force will prove otherwise. I'm going to go for a value of 1.0001 here, as a higher amount will result in a loose roll of toilet paper. Now you can use the turns to increase the amount of spirals, and the step slider will up the resolution. I'm going to use 5 turns and 50 steps. I wouldn't go much higher than this, because the cloth simulation will be very intense. Now position this curve around your pre-existing roll. Bring up the search menu with F3 and type in Convert To. Select the Mesh option, and now our curve is a mesh object. Select it all with A and extrude to bring it over here, then add in a few edge loops. Don't use too many, there's a lot more vertices to calculate this time around. Now the same process applies as last time. Make it a cloth object, find the internal edge, hopefully near the bottom somewhere, Create a vertex group and use that as a pin. Parent it to the roll, and as you can see, we have some problems. To fix this, go to your cloth settings and turn on self collision, and then up the friction there to 5 or 10. Also, change the self collision distance so that that will be 0 0.001. I would highly recommend to not attempt a viewport playback at this point as the cloth simulation will now be very intensive on your system. Instead, just do some keyframes of your roll rotating 90 degrees a couple of times, and bake the simulation under the cache dropdown before playing it back. A few values to keep in mind if you're having problems are the self-collision friction and distance. Use these to tweak how the paper rolls on itself, and fix any clipping issues. You also may have to change the collision distance and friction on the mesh roll itself if the paper isn't sticking to the surface or is clipping through there. Another thing you can try if you are having issues is simply increasing the collision quality or the cloth quality steps under the cloth simulation settings. Both of these will drastically increase your baking times though, for obvious reasons. And now that we've tweaked everything, let's bake it out and take a look at our final simulation. And as you can see, that's looking pretty dope. From this point, add anything you want. Baseboards, materials, lighting, or you could even do a rigid body simulation on a roll and add the cloth simulation to that. It's up to you how you decide to display your valuables. Anyways, stay safe out there. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.